Question 18. Which substance exists as a macromolecule? So a macromolecule is a large molecule with many, many covalent bonds in it. Something like graphite or something like diamond. Uh, quite strong with very, very many covalent bonds in there. What's copper? Well, copper's a metal that's just got metallic bonds. It's got atoms that have lost electrons which are moving through the metal. They're delocalized, attracted by the plus ions that have lost uh, electrons. So it's an attraction between the plus ions and the minus delocalized electrons. That's got metallic bonding in there. SiO2 is um, the main constituent of sand. Yes, it's got a high, high um, melting point. It's got many, many covalent bonds in there. It's in a tetrahedral structure. It's very similar to diamond. So your answer is B. P4O10 is um, molecular. It's, uh, it's uh, got um, covalent bonds in it in a molecule. Um, quite a big molecule of P4O10, uh, but that's it. It's a molecule of P4O10 with covalent bonds within that one molecule. The covalent bonds don't form a giant uh, molecular lattice. MgO, well, magnesium's in group 2, oxygen's in group 6, so the magnesium donates its two electrons to the oxygen, and the Mg becomes 2 plus, the O becomes 2 minus. That's an ionic lattice So um, with ionic bonding. So B is the answer. A pale brown mixture of NO2 and um, N2O4 is allowed to reach equilibrium according to this equation. When the plunger is pushed further into the syringe, the pressure increases and the mixture becomes paler in colour. So, um, What's happening here then? So as I increase the pressure by Le Chatelier's principle, it will try and lower the pressure. How can it lower the pressure? Well, it can lower the pressure by lowering the volume. So I've got two moles of gas on the left hand side and two, one mole of gas on the right hand side. So it can, if I increase the pressure by Le Chatelier's principle, it can lower the pressure by reducing the volume and turning two moles of gas down into one. So this reaction here, or, or this condition here, the plunger increasing the pressure, the mixture becomes paler in colour, will shift the position of equilibrium to the right hand side and make more N2O4. So now we know that the N2O4 is pale and this is the brown gas. So N2O2 is a brown gas, N2O4 is a pale colour. So N2O4 is brown, N2O4 is brown, N so NO2 is brown, NO2 is brown, yes that's correct, this is brown, this is pale, uh, NO2 is colourless, no, NO2 is colourless, so the answer is between A and B. So let's have a look next. When the syringe is placed in a hot oven, the mixture becomes darker in colour. So when I put in a hot oven, I'm making more of this dark NO2 and less of this colourless or very pale N2O4. So I'm making more NO2 when I put it into a hot oven, the equilibrium shifting to the left hand side. What does that tell me? Well, when I put in a hot oven by Le Chatelier's principle, um, it tries to oppose that change and lower the temperature in the oven. If it lowers the temperature in the oven, so um, it will lower the temperature by having an endothermic reaction, which um, takes in heat and lowers the temperature of the oven. So to the left hand side, because we know the equilibrium shift into left hand side, it's endothermic. So endothermic means that it will lower the temperature of the oven by Le Chatelier's principle, um, because the oven's hot, lower the temperature of the oven, oppose the change by Le Chatelier's principle, and it can do that because this reaction to the left is endothermic and it will become darker in colour because we now we know the NO2 is brown. So this way to the left is endothermic, so to the right it must be exothermic. So NO2 is brown and the forward reaction is exothermic. The answer is A.